Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create a carousel effect with slide zoom in Microsoft PowerPoint. With this effect, you can click and navigate from slide to slide, zoom into a particular slide, and then zoom out. This tutorial is for you if you want to create a dynamic and eye-catching presentation. So let's get started. So I have prepared slides about the planets of the solar system and I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 365 for this tutorial. So to create the carousel slide zoom effect, we need to start by creating a blank slide. So let's create a blank slide and make sure that it is the slide number one. Next, we will change the background to a galaxy theme. So for example, I have downloaded here a photo of galaxy from Pexel. So let's select that as a background for this slide. Now for the slide zoom, go to the insert tab and then click on zoom and then select slide zoom and then choose all the slides you want to include in the carousel effect animation. For example, here we have the 8 planets. After that, we can adjust the size of these slides. For example, like this, you can adjust it according to your preference. After that, we will arrange the planets in order. So I'm going to arrange them according to their distance to the sun. So let's start with the Mercury and then Venus and the planet Earth. We are arranging them so we have to align them. It may not be perfect for now but we can arrange that later on. So yeah, I'm going to arrange them based on their distance from the sun. So this is the planet Saturn. And then the planet Uranus and lastly the planet Neptune. Now that they are aligned, we will select them all and go to the zoom tab. Then we have to remove the outline of the shapes. And then we will click this align button here and click the distribute horizontally so they will be balanced and spaced equally. And we will also click the align to middle so they will be balanced and well aligned. After that, we can customize them further by adding a glow effect to the slides. For example, here we're going to change or apply the glow effect to this color. And then we're going to change the color of the glow effect. So we're going to base that on the color of the planet. For example, for Mercury, let's change the glow color to brown. For Venus, let's make it yellow. Let's keep the color blue for the Earth. For Mars, we can change the color to brown. Like this and we can continue to design the slide zoom glow according to the color of the planet or if you have any choice of color. So for the next step, we have to click the return to zoom option for each slide. For example, let's click that, go to the zoom tab, and then click or toggle the return to zoom option. This is crucial later so that we can zoom out whenever we click to that slide. So this will help us to navigate from slide to slide using the carousel effect animation. So all we need to do is to toggle the return to zoom option. For the next step, we will select all the slides and then right click and then group. So we're grouping them so that it will be easy for us to move all of the slides in our carousel effect animation. And now we're going to add a rectangular shape based on the size of our slides. This will act as a guide for us so that we can place the slides equally and consistently. So we're going to align this rectangular shape like this onto our slide. So 
we're trying to create a three rectangular shape for this so let's just copy this and then paste so this will be our guide whenever we move the group of slides so this is the first planet to highlight the mercury so make sure that this rectangular shape are equally spaced now we're going to adjust this group of slides so make sure that the first planet is positioned in the center of the slide now duplicate this slide and this time we're going to move the group of slide zoom slides to the left and the next planet will be positioned in the center following the rectangular guide and then duplicate it once again this time we're going to move the planet earth in the center of the slide with respect of course to the rectangular guide duplicate it until we reach the last planet let's duplicate it once more and now let's move the planet jupiter to the center of the slide and then duplicate it once again and it's time for the planet saturn to be positioned center and then next is for the planet uranus but let's go back to the slide 6 and move the planet saturn a little bit and then for the uranus let's move that to the center of the slide and lastly let's duplicate it for the planet neptune and that is perfect now that we have already set up the slide zoom carousel effect animation we're going to delete the guides for every slide and then ungroup this set of slides so ungroup make sure that you ungroup this so this is crucial later on because we have to click these slides in order for us to perform the slide zoom so we need to ungroup them so just repeat the process until you reach the last planet so delete the uh, rectangular guides and then ungroup this slide zoom Now that we are all set up, let's go back to the first slide and let's see the progress so far for this tutorial. As you can see now, we have the carousel effect but it's not yet smooth. Whenever we click on a particular slide or planet, it will zoom into that slide and once we click on any part of the slide, it will zoom out. So let's try to click that, zoom in, and then click again, zoom out. Now to perform a smooth animation for the carousel effect, we have to go back to the first slide and go to the transition tab, click on morph transition, and adjust the duration to 1.75 seconds. Make sure to apply it to all slides. Now as you can see, the carousel effect animation is smoothly moving. Whenever we click on a particular slide, it zooms into that slide, and whenever we click on that slide again, it will zoom out. Now we can further design it by adding a title slide for example. Go to the insert tab, add a text box and then type your title. For example here, I'm using the font a grandeur heavy and my title will be the planets of the solar system. So let's align that text box to the center and then copy, paste again the text box. And let me type here of the solar system so my title will be the planets of the solar system let's make this text smaller compared to the main title now let's add additional design for this let's add a 3d model so let's look for a 3d model of the sun so i think this will be good and let's insert that and now let's adjust this 3d model in the center of the slide in the lower part of the slide so this will be 
a additional design for our presentation. Now that this sun is positioned properly, we can now add another icon. Go to the insert tab, click on icon, and then look for arrow icons. So this will act as our button to navigate to the next slide and to the previous slide. So this arrow, we can change the color of this into white. And then change the glow color into blue. And let's position it properly here, facing the right direction. And let's copy that and then paste. This time, we're going to move that to the left and then mirror it so that it will face the left direction. So this two arrow will act as our button for the previous slide and to the next slide. This will act as our button to move the carousel effect. Now to apply that, we can right click that arrow button and then click on link. And then sh make sure to click the place in this document. And for this left direction arrow, we will click the previous slide. And for this right facing arrow, we're going to hyperlink it to the next slide. So whenever we click that arrow, it will go to the next slide. And whenever we click the arrow that is facing to the left, it will go back to the previous slide or the carousel effect will move to the left. Now let's make a final touches for this. So let's copy that elements and the title slide onto the next slide. And this time we're going to rotate the 3D model. So whenever we shift from slide to slide, this 3D model of the sun will rotate and move. So whenever we copy and paste that to the next slide, we are rotating the 3D model. And for the last slide, that is perfect. And now we're going to duplicate this first slide so that we can edit the our title slide. So going back to the first slide, this time we're going to select all of the slide zoom planets. So we're just going to select this, all of the slides, and then we're going to move them to the right side of the canvas or outside of the slide. So this will be the direction for their entrance once we shift from slide 1 to the slide 2. And let's move this arrow downwards and this title slide, let's position it to the center of the slide just like this one. And for this 3D model of the sun, we can rotate it and make this one smaller. So this will be our main title slide. Now let's see if that is nice for us. I think we can further move the title and the 3D model. So let's select that and let's move that upwards. And finally, here's the final output for this tutorial. As you can see, we have successfully achieved the carousel effect animation with the slide zoom effect. The slides are moving smoothly and we can zoom into a particular slide once it is clicked and then we can also zoom out to go back to the carousel. We can also use our buttons to navigate and move the carousel effect. And as you can see, the 3D mode of the sun is moving as well every time we move the carousel. This tutorial is for you if you want to create a dynamic and engaging presentation. So that's basically it. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, need clarifications, or have suggestions, just comment down below. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.